So I'm not letting this get away. I'm not letting it. I don't give a fuck how many videos I got to put up. Now, fuck it. Everybody's spinning this all over. Fucking look. If this would have been our group, the Million Mass March, which turned into Black Lives Matter, which really is the Post Ignorance Project. This fucking movement was started by the Post Ignorance Project. You go back to Freddie Gray in Baltimore. Go back to that. That fucking murder. That hardcore murder. You go back to Cleveland. You go back to Ferguson. You go back to Salt Lake City, Utah, Danielle Willard. Who did all that fucking dirty work? You're looking at him. We did. Joe the Killer Cox. Play back that fucking tape. Where was the media then? We made this exact identical march that these fucking AstroTurf Trumpers made. The exact march. I gave the inaugural speech. We fucking marched the exact identical step for step. 2012, 2013, 2014. Met with fucking tanks. Met with fucking horses. Met with fucking thousands of lined up in full riot gear right there at the Capitol. Pepper strays, tased. Where the fuck were you then? Look at this. They let them get us away with it? I'm a white guy and I'm afraid of the cops. I was not born with these scars across my face. It took years. The fucking term Black Lives Matter was started in the streets of D.C. by me and a young black girl. You know how many of the original founders? You give us no respect. You give us nothing. You know how many of us are dead? Michael Pendleton's dead. Sarah's dead. You know how many of the grassroots hardcore Ferguson fucking activists are dead? You know how many of the hardcore grassroots Ferguson or fucking Baltimore? The Freddie Gray thing was so fucking outrageous. I can't fucking breathe in fucking... Danielle Willard in 2012. You know what they did to us? Do you have any clue what they fucking did to us? Where was fucking security fucking then? You should see it on us. Tanks. Armored fucking people. Horses. Blackballed us, destroyed us, hired people to slander us, made sure we couldn't get a job, destroyed our fucking careers, slandered us every way they could, starved us out, jailed us, beat us, killed us. Now you want to talk fucking Ferguson. Now you want to talk Baltimore. You want to talk Danielle Willard? She was white. Cop blew her fucking head off in broad daylight. For no reason. That's how this started. You know what fucking hardcore work and fight, blood in the streets that we bled to fucking give birth to this? <laughs> Who started that whole fucking movement? Myself and John Anthony Ferris and his cousins. That's who started it. It was based on that. It was called the Post Ignorance Project. That goes clear. It started fucking in earnest when they fucking... Matthew Stewart. Do you know about that one? Fukushima, Fuk the cover-up of Fukushima. You know what they fucking did to us in fucking Baltimore? You know what they did to us in Ferguson? You know what they did to us in D.C. on this exact identical fucking street and path? Right here in Utah? Cut me off fucking Medicaid when I'm in critical fucking condition? For this very said reason. <laughs> fucking media wants to spin this fucking now. The only people that would ever fucking interview us or even give us any fucking time of day was fucking Tzar T. And as soon as you started talking Fukushima, they would shut off the fucking camera. Fucking Jill fucking Putinstein. <laughs> Where were you fuckers when it was fucking Freddie Gray when they fucking murdered him for no fuck? I mean, just a hardcore murder. Just blatantly fucking murdered him. <laughs> How about Ferguson. Go talk to John Anthony about that fucking dirty house. Go fucking talk to Steve Grant. And we're black and fucking white. We're black, white, we're fucking brown, we're old, we're fucking young. Our fucking group. You know how many of us are fucking dead? They destroyed us. Not me, motherfuckers. I'm still fighting. Fucking open heart surgery. I mean, I don't know how many. You, I think about it. We're standing right there on Black Lives Matter, right where this whole fucking thing was really born in 2012. And they're selling fucking shirts. Oh, fuck. Don't even get me going. Where were the fucking cops on these fuckers? 
If this would have been us, if this would have been fucking the Million Mass March, Black Lives because we watched and we marched the exact identical fucking march. I gave the exact, I mean the speeches. Riot gear, horses, tasers. Where the fuck were they? Lines of fucking fucking shields, helmets. Where the fuck were they on these guys? Open the door and let them in. Oh, fuck. The double shattered this fucking... And by the way, the Million Mass March. Left, right, black, white, up, down, fucking young, fucking old, brown, male, female. Sarah's fucking dead. I can go on and on and on and on about the originators. 2012. It was based on the fucking death of a white girl. Fuck. You, you don't know about that fucking murder? Oh, the Freddie Gray one fucking makes me sick. That one's fucking the second worst of them all. Where the fuck were you fucking then the media in Baltimore when these fucking cops were everywhere in fucking armored suits? Where the fuck were you in Ferguson when these cops fuck? When the fuck were you in fucking Salt Lake City, Utah when fucking Callie Bull fucking Daniel Willard's face off in broad daylight for nothing through her car window? Just sitting for absolutely zero just to watch her die. Where the fuck we then? Stand up here, Kevin Blanche. Stand up on your own here. Stand up on your own here, Matthew Stewart. Stand up here. Fuck. Where the fuck were you then? We marched this exact identical march. Where do you think they got the idea? Trump. Same place. Get the speech right there at the fucking White House. March up Pennsylvania right to the Capitol. Met with horses, with tanks, with tear gas, with tasers. With fucking armed fucking suits in their fucking... No. Oh, they didn't know they were coming. <laughs> fucking... Open the door and just let them in. Let the fucking coup happen. Who's the fucking blood hands are on? The fucking media, for one. Alternative media? Right? Alternative media is even fucking worse. You just abandoned us and threw us away when we did all this fucking dirty work. To all the members of the Million Mass March, to the Post Ignorance Project, all these people that did all this fucking dirty fucking work, I know who you are. You know, the ones that are left alive. Much love, baby. Much love, res much love, much respect. Because we got a higher love. You know, for you can spin it, you can fuck do it, and they let these fuckers just walk in there because they're white. No, because they're fucking are, and I guess, Democratic trumpets indoctrinated. I don't get it. I, I still don't get it. And by the way, Black Lives and these fuckers running down the NBA fucking field. I know Damian Lillard personally. I fucking used to do the play-by-play. -play. I know fucking Donovan Mitchell personally. By the way, he sucks lately. He couldn't fucking throw it in the fucking ocean. Ask the Knicks and his fucking hundreds of millions. Running away, they got fucking shirts, Black Lives Matter, made in Bangladesh by slaves. Fuck you! Fuck all of you! You know, we do all this fucking dirty work. You go on Rachel Maddow. You go on fucking MSNBC. You go on CNN. You go on Operation Fox Continent and just take credit. Fucking three women who never bled in the fucking streets say they fucking made a hashtag. Fuck you. Hashtag this. What a fucking disgusting insult. You think I was born with these scars? You know how much blood and fucking pain spilled in the fucking streets? In Baltimore, in Washington, D.C., in Salt Lake City, in Ogden, fucking Utah, in San Diego, California, in fucking New York City, in Brooklyn. <laughs> and they just fucking let these guys waltz right in. Fucking double standard. If this had been us, they'd have killed us all. Well, they tried. They fucking killed most of us anyway. And by the way, most of that was done by Obama. Fucking, he's just as bad as Trump. You think about it. Obama put an 85-year-old fucking nun in prison for life. Obama killed Aaron Swartz. 35 years for what? For what? Fuck it. Yeah, I go on and on and on. Obama attacked whistleblowers and activists fucking the hardest as anybody in history until Trump came along. These aren't activists. These are fucking useful astroturf fucking idiots. And the fucking, who caused this? The fucking cops. Where's their armored suits on them? They called them on us. They had horses on us. You ever had the horses called that? Oh, yeah. Black, white. <laughs> Same black, white. Fuck, this is disgusting. You give us no fucking respect. Fucking none. You keep fucking spitting in my fucking face every fucking day, all of you. Fuck you! Hope you don't get cancer. I'm an AML leukemia survivor, and I did all this fucking work while I'm fucking giving two months to fucking live. And fuck me! 
No, fuck you. Fucking stay in tuned.